Hello there, ladies and gents. Nicola Bully. I believe the coroner's verdict's come in now, and they've ruled accidental death. And uh, is it shock as she's gone into the water? Suffered body suffered shock and probably heart attack and died. What a great shame. My thoughts are really simple. It's uh, she's left a couple of kiddies and a partner. Um, I think a mum and dad and maybe a sister, if I remember rightly. I believe they still get in. Um, nasty messages through on various platforms and I just can't understand that, I think that's very, very wrong. Must say, I'm surprised that the coroner uh, can say she's fallen in an accidental death and be certain of that, um, because I would suggest she could have fallen in accidental death, she could have been pushed with no struggle and nobody's seen it, or she could have jumped in. I hope she's not, but she could have done, we just don't know, we're not gonna know. Um, that said, as I said earlier, I don't think for one moment anybody should be having a pop at the family. I really don't. Um, there's nothing that they could have done. They weren't there. Assuming she wasn't pushed in, nobody was there. So I don't think really we're ever 100% going to know. Although obviously for, from the family's point of view, if it was me, I would want to hope it was accidental death and obviously she had slipped. But without any evidence that she slipped, I'm, uh, I find it hard to believe that they're saying it's a definite accidental death, you know, because um, I don't know how you can prove that. Um, why was she so close to the edge? Uh, was it the dog that took her there? Was it a dog's ball, as they said? It just seems a little strange. But, and I'll say for the last time, I don't think for one moment any grief should be coming the, the family's way. They've got enough to deal with that any grief. And all I can say is rest in peace, young Nicola. You know, taken too young and what a great shame. What a great shame.